Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Abir and welcome to my another tutorial. And if you are watching my videos for very first time, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so in my previous video, I showed you how to download Lighter Point Cloud data and, uh, and we created uh, normalized digital surface model and digital surface model there. In the tutorial, I showed you uh, how to um, process how to work with the LAS file and in, in this video I'm going to introduce you with a, another site from there you will download .las files and you have to convert it to LAS files to use it in your ArcMap to your ArcMap so first uh, open your browser and So as I told you earlier, uh, the lighter point cloud data is not uh, available for every country. So we have this advantage there. So let's zoom in a little bit, and uh, you will see some grid over here. Okay, to download file from here, if you can drag a shape file here. To use here or you can draw a draw polygon so I'm going to draw a polygon here to select my area like this is and uh, double click to finish it and the next thing is uh, click here get available data so here is your product year and uh, resolution you can download many products like here uh, like lighter composite digital surface model or digital train model or lighter point cloud uh, and many more things so i'm going to download a lighter point cloud from here and you can see the available year is 2006 and 2009 so i'm going to choose 2009 and we can't uh, select resolution here and to download um, click here available tiles and and you can see I have created a folder here. Uh, this of uh, 53 Northwest. Uh, okay, uh, this this is here is as of 53 Northwest. And select the folder and uh, click open. And you can start click start download to down uh, start the process. Okay. So I have already downloaded this file. So let's skip this step. So after you have uh, finished your downloading, uh, go to your folder here and uh, right click here and click extract here. Okay, so here is our files here and if you go to properties, you can see the type of file is .laz. So if we open our art map and if we want to add data here you can see uh, we can add data from here so what we have to do we have to convert our lsz file into las file to do that we need a software okay. go to your browser again and right here plusg.org scroll down a little bit and in under binaries uh, click here lastgif.exe okay so you can download however you want so here you can see here i created a folder called lastgif and selected this folder uh, where you want to download so I have downloaded this earlier, so let's just get this first. Okay, navigate to that folder and uh, here is your application. Double click here and in, in this application, uh, click here browse and I have my file in D. Okay, so here I have selected this file and this is .lag, okay and uh, select your output file uh, 
okay so here is you can see this is uh, the folder and uh, use current to use this folder okay and the last thing is uh, click here decompress and click here start okay so after finish uh, just close uh, just close this application and uh, if you come to that folder again and right click here and go to properties and you can see the type of file is dot .lss okay so go to artmap again i have showed you in my previous video that we can't directly add .las file in our artmap um, to add that file i go to your folder and uh, create a new folder and let's call this as record and uh, right click here and create a new las database here and let's name it as las dataset okay and uh, double click to open it and uh, click here last ls files and you have to add files here okay so this is our las file so we have to add this file here open and uh, we can see the statistics results you can see the first return, second return, and uh, classification and as and assigned to ground uh, low visitation, medium visitation, high visitation. It's okay. And we have to select an XY coordinating system. Let's go to import. And I have a shape file for that map. So click, uh, so select this shape file and click add. Okay, so click apply and okay. And you can add this into your art map like this. Okay, as you can see, the data percentage uh, is zero. And you can't see anything here because this is such a large data set. So we have to zoom in and we can see here okay so that's all for this uh, tutorial video and in my next video i will sh show you the las dataset properties in art okay so thank you for watching this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you